this will become one of the great experiences that we all have, all of us. And, and we want you guys to buy in, because I think that's how this is going to work. And so we want to try and relate what the chefs have to say to some of the science that we teach in the class. In the lab, our students have made measurements to measure exactly the temperature at which eggs cook. This is a constant temperature water bath at 63 degrees Celsius. It's really a science class, as well as a class about cooking. A way to demonstrate that this relationship between uh, time and temperature is even more precise. What we would like to do is to tell you the essential scientific features that underlie it, and that is the essence of the class. The sort of most critical thing about Ferran's creations is that, that he is able to make them by understanding the science that underlies the materials that he has manipulated. Uh, they're all fairly similar, and it's basically sugar that's cooked to this texture. We can make an ungodly number of strands. We're going to use cooking, and indeed the types of fancy cooking that we will see from the chef as inspiration to convince you that it's really worth learning science. If you look at any of these problems from the point of view of a scientist, these are materials, and as materials, when you cook, you manipulate them, and if you understand what is happening, then you can do much better. And one of the things that we would like to accomplish here is to get you guys to learn how to ask science questions. It's, it's as much about asking questions as it is about knowing the answers. I mean, most of life is about asking the right questions. We'll lower the temperature. The sort of main crux of the matter, and, the, and really, right, the thing that you really have to understand to be able to use this is to understand why materials have the phases they do. What he's trying to do is make a solid out of two fluids. So, so again, this, this, this is something that we're pretty, pretty proud of and pretty excited by. What can we as human beings do with these wonderful natural materials to make them even more interesting? What can we do with these things that has not been done before and that can give us something more from the experience of cooking and eating.